This is a demonstration of a total hardness drop count test kit using endpoint ID procedures. Anytime you're about to handle chemicals, you need to wear the proper safety equipment. In order to perform a drop count test, gloves and safety glasses are required. The first step according to the endpoint ID procedure is to take an accurate sample. The smallest change in sample size will lead to inaccurate results. Before taking your sample, it's important to rinse the vial with the sample to be tested. This minimizes the chance of contamination from a previous titration. To get an accurate sample size, you want to hold the vial close to eye level. Once you feel you have an accurate sample, place the vial on a level surface and bend down to eye level to make sure you have an accurate sample. When performing a drop count titration, a white background can provide contrast to better see the color changes. A cabinet tray or a white paper towel can provide that contrast. The next step according to the endpoint ID procedure is to add five drops of hardness buffer. The bottle contains a dropper tip, so it's important to hold the bottle vertically to get a consistent drop size. After the addition of each reagent, it's important to swirl the vial to make sure the reagents are properly mixed. The next step according to the endpoint ID procedure is to add one scoop of hardness indicator powder. After the addition of the powder, swirl the vial to ensure the powder is completely dissolved. In this case, the sample is turned red, indicating that hardness is present. If the sample had turned blue, then no hardness is present and the titration is complete. The next step according to the endpoint ID procedure is to perform the titration. Each bottle of titran is labeled with the equivalency and sample size it was manufactured for. It's important to make sure you have the proper titrant and the proper sample size for this titration. The bottle of titrant contains a dropper tip, therefore it's important to hold the bottle vertically to make sure you get a consistent drop size. After the addition of each drop of titrant, you want to swirl the vial to make sure the sample is properly mixed. According to the endpoint ID procedure, the titration is complete when the sample is changed from red to blue. In this example, each drop was equivalent to 10 parts per million of hardness. The sample took 21 drops to reach the endpoint, therefore this sample contains 210 parts per million of total hardness as calcium carbonate. This concludes our demonstration of the total hardness drop count test kit.